Justin's a good kicker, and you know, but if I take care of my business and what I do, you know, that's what I'm doing. <coughs> back and forth with the holders, which I'm sure is tough for them, um, alternating righty and lefty, which is, you know, I guess credit to them that they can do that. So, uh, you know, the timing can be off a little bit here and there, but um, overall, I feel good, and uh, I'm not doing pretty well, so, you know, just it's only a couple days. How has your approach to camp changed or stayed the same, same after 17 years? Um... I mean, I think by competing and trying to, trying to you know, get better and, you know, always being concerned with myself and not what's going on around me or who I'm competing with, because really you're competing with everybody. You know, there's a, there's a long list of guys that want to you know, kick. So, um, you know, I just try to do my job every kick and every time. And, you know, I can only control that. I can't control what they want to do or any other, anybody else wants to do. <laughs> Control what Justin does. Um, you know, I just need to worry about myself and, and, and get better. And that's all I try to do is, you know, make all the ones that I can and, and do everything else. You know, I, I'd like to uh, work on maybe kicking off a little bit, um, kicking a little deeper this year. I, I noticed a lot of guys last year they were running them out, so maybe not as high and kick them out would be better. You know, so I mean, just the same stuff that we work on. I know Coach talked about you know, taking the preseason games. Um, his plan is to really not tell you guys who's going to go out there. Go to you know, go call one in and send you out. And I guess that was his plan. Would that be kind of different? Um, I guess you got to be ready any time to kick. But um, just to not know if it's going to be you or Justin going out there to kick. Um, I just found that out. Okay. Earlier, so, <laughs> I mean, uh, that's the plan, then that's the plan. I, I mean, it's not something that you uh, – that you would, you'd like to obviously know when you're going out, um, you know, know who's going to hold and, you know, get reps so you can get in some sort of rhythm. But, uh, you know, that's the first I heard it. That's the play. And then, you know, I know there's always chaos. And, and just like in a game, at the end of the game, there's always something happening. And, you know, we're trying to create that out here. We've been, yesterday we did, I think it was eight field goals in a two-minute drill, which is kind of a rush chaos deal. And, uh, you know, that's kind of how it is. So, I mean, nothing, I, I, I've never, you know, the last 10 years been surprised by anything. So, um, you know, we'll be ready to kick and they call you then. Uh, hopefully they call you a lot, you know, so you can get some sort of rhythm. But, um, I don't know, it's the first I've heard of it. So, you know more than I do right now. I know where you remember from your first training camp. Uh, first training camp? Um, Jeez, I remember uh, <laughs> about me or about other people. Just, just <laughs> in, one, in general, I mean, the, the, the biggest thing I remember is I just couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't get the concept of there were young guys that were playing because they wanted to play in the league, and there was older established people that were playing for other reasons. Where you know the Super Bowl, they've been in it, they want to get there, they've got family, they're supporting, they have kids running around, I mean, that was, the, it was just, a, it was an adjustment, there was no scholarships, you know, there wasn't a college where you had 80 guys in a group within, you know, 18 to 20 years old, there was men out there, and they were trying to feed their kids, and there was kids out there that were trying to learn from the men, and it was just, you know, it was a lot, it was a lot, it was a lot to learn as a young kid, and <coughs> what are the biggest changes <coughs> uh, from my position? I mean, I noticed that you know most punters are you know bigger, you know stronger, probably play other positions. Um, you know, as a kicker, you're either you're either a big strong guy or you know you're a little fast guy. And uh, you know, obviously, I know which one I am. So. Um, you know, and, and it's just it's just evolved. I mean, it's become more part of the game. Uh, you know, obviously with the new rule, and uh, you know, guys have gotten better. And uh, I mean, it's a it's a it's a big deal. I mean, 
kicking off now, you know, we have 50 some touchbacks and things unheard of. You know, guys are averaging 40 yard net punts, uh, 10 of them a year. How many? I mean, it's just getting better. I mean, guys are bigger and stronger. And, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, you can just hang with the, you know, with the guys that they bring in and do, do what you do. And, and I think it's difficult when uh, you look back and think, you know, like a punter, 37. Pretty good year. I thought I, you know, I, I missed, you know, like we had six kicks, you know, we had two over 50. Uh, but I mean, percentage, I mean, if the two weren't blocked, that'd have been 80, um, 86, or I think it was 86 or 87 percent, which is a great year. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, I missed one at the end of the game, which, you know, it really is inexcusable, and I expect to make them. And the other one, you know, made it look worse. I missed a, you know, a 30, 40 yarder or whatever. And, you know, it made it look worse when, you know, I don't know if they ran it or threw it for 80 yards. So on the next play, so it was just like, you know, we should have been kicking off. But, I mean, I can get better every year, you know, and that's how I feel. I'm trying to make every kick. I know the long ones are hard and, you know, that whole whatever. Nobody's made a 50 yarder in Chicago in 10 years story, but, um, you know, I thought I had a good year, you know, if, if, if they didn't block those two kicks, I would have been, you know, in there, and I haven't had an extra point blocked in, I don't know, 10 or 12 years, so, we, you know, we had some guys come in, guys were hurt, guys were playing different spots, and you guys know the story, we had some injuries, and when it happened, you're throwing your guys in, and it's hard, it's not an easy game, you know, nobody wants to be on field goal, block, field goal, you know, and, and, and take that heat, and uh, you know it's hard. And um, you know, when when you get you know two or three in a row block, you start you know you, you have to speed up and you have to do different things. So uh, you know, and I did that, and it didn't work. You know, it cost us a game on one of them trying to fix it by myself. And uh, you know, live and learn. I missed kicks before, and you know it, it, it happens. And, Hopefully uh, you learn from those mistakes and, and trust what you do. But I mean, overall, you know, I thought I could have had, you know, another five or six touchbacks at the end of the year. You know, I should have made those kicks. But um, you know, I'm hoping to make all of them. Do you feel like one or two more? Do you feel like those two that you missed towards the end of the game that that opens the competition this year? How many you made those? I mean, the competition is always open. I mean. I don't know what coach isn't, isn't looking for younger, better, bigger, stronger. I mean, that's their job, you know. And uh, But, you know, there is something to be said, you know, having made, you know, three or four hundred field goals. I mean, it's, it's worth something, I would hope. Um, you know, being a, a team at home and, and when you're playing the people like, you know, the Hesters and those returners, to be able to kick it out of the end zone is a bonus. And, uh, you know, to be able to do that and, 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 and get our defense, you know, especially at home and, and have every team to, to try to go 80 yards on us at home with our defense, a healthy defense, is going to be tough. And, uh, you know, missing the kicks last year, you know, I, I don't have an excuse. You know, um, Baker didn't hold for a righty for, well, I don't know how long he was here. But, uh, you know, he held for um, Casey for seven or eight years as a lefty. So he did one year as a righty, did a great job, and you know I can't even, I, I can't blame him for having a bad hold. So I mean, those are my mistakes. If you got to fix them, I know. I mean, I've been around, I know the game, and uh, but it doesn't make me concerned about competition or you know have anything to do with Justin being here or, or last year they brought in Audi or I, mean, I, I can't worry about other. Did you feel last like one's on window that you were sort of in a no win position? Bob Blake John, who you know, you, you saw the public support. I mean, was that just tough? Would have been tough on anybody? I I mean we, you know, as kickers are we're you know, we're a pretty good close group. So, you know, John is one of the 
you know, legend kickers to all of us, not just Carolina, to kickers in general who, who come up and play. So, I mean, I've looked at John 10 years ago and talked to him about, like, how do you do this? Or, you know, so, I mean, to come here and, like you said, and replace a guy who's done so well. And, and when you're established on a team in a community, you know, from, from the get-go, I mean, it's, it's difficult. I mean, I didn't come in here saying I'm going to be better than John Casey or I'm going to replace him because I'm, I'm a totally different kicker, you know. And, uh, you know, I think what, you know, what he left and how, you know, I don't know if he expected to leave or what, you know, what the scenario was. Um, but, I mean, I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to say, hey, listen, you know, I'm going to do so well that you're going to forget about me. You can't. I mean, one year is not going to do it. And hopefully, you know, I signed a four-year deal. And, and hopefully those four years I can prove that, hey, you know, 20 years from now, we'll say, hey, remember that guy after John Casey? And, and you know, he did pretty well, too. And, and that's how it was, uh, you know, I went to Seattle after a guy did pretty well there. And, you know, when I was in Miami for 10 years, there was a guy named Stojanovic who played 10 years there. It was pretty good, too. So, I mean, I try not to worry about it. And, and you know, like I said, as long as I can do my own job, I think, you know, it will be good enough. And, and people will say, you know, we've got a guy now that, that we trust, and, and, and he can do it all. He can kick, he can, you know, kick him long, short. He kick off and onside and you know whatever whatever I need to you know need to do and I don't think it's any uh you know anything I, I don't know if I'll let you know anybody whoever plays for the Panthers will replace what he's done you know so <coughs> yes thank you